to elect a new mayor or risk being placed under administration. Now, this follows the voting out of Sivuile and Godwana last week, necessitating the dissolution of the executive committee. Now, a council meeting to elect the replacement was abruptly cancelled with no indication of when it would be held. We've got the Gauteng Cooperative Governance MEC Mzi Kumala on the line with us this afternoon to discuss this very concerning matter. A very good afternoon to you, MEC, and thank you very much for your time. Uh, just give us a quick timeline of what is said to happen after what was declared on Thursday uh, as we approach the administration if no mayor is elected. Good afternoon uh, to you um, and good afternoon to your viewers at home. I, I think where we are now, we are being regulated by Schedule 3 of the Municipal Structures Act which has uh, provisions uh, uh, that indicate what are the kind of things that we need to do. The first thing is that uh, it says that when the executive may is removed uh, by vote of no confidence or any other means, uh, legally so, the council has got seven days to convene in order to elect uh, the um, executive mayor. So from where we are, the council was supposed to have done that task um, last week, Thursday, and we now it's it's now a common cause that uh, that meeting did not take place that meeting was postponed so that that's that's where we are in so far as they could learn anything it is our expectation that uh, the municipality of ekurleni must follow what the law says to them in other words uh, they must then exercise their option of um, reconvening again within uh, seven days again in order to fulfill the requirements of uh, the uh, Municipal Structures Act in this regard. Mm. Uh, aren't 